Welcome to Red Robin Design's Prezi Showcase. One of Prezi's great abilities lies in it being able to break down content into bite-sized pieces, which makes it a great tool to simplify the information on the slide. The Prezi presentation is actually built on one single canvas and it travels around this one scene. We have developed this factory that you see here as our canvas. If you look closely, you can make out the individual screens on the slide. In some cases, this is preferred as it intrigues the viewer as to what might be next. Otherwise, they can be small enough as to appear hidden as well. Traditionally, PowerPoint is the platform of choice. It's tried, tested, has many levels of functionality. It's editable and broadly accessible. And when well-branded and designed, it can be extremely successful. However, sometimes it does result in less than desirable outcomes, such as these. You might be getting reactions like this. Not necessarily because it's PowerPoint, but because of poor treatment, quality of imagery, and design of the content. These reactions can also be caused by the predictability of flow created when using static slides. So it's time to look at your presentations from a new perspective, or even better, from the audience's perspective. So let's press on and consider the advantages and benefits of Prezi. Sound effects also courtesy of Prezi. Now moving on to talk about some of the features. The most significant difference that Prezi has over other presentation software is the way that it transitions, zooms, and flows between information. A Prezi frame replaces the traditional slide in its size and position. Then it creates the transition. So you can set the scene and then zoom in for more detailed information. This functionality does have a bit of a reputation for nausea though, so don't be too hasty. For this reason too, Prezi is probably best presented in person rather than emailed out. It's more of a supporting presentation tool to a speaker that needs to be delivered in a controlled environment, unless you're pre-recording it such as I'm doing now. So moving on to Prezi templates. Prezi offers numerous pre-designed templates and one is sure to suit your message, which is great when you're getting started. They're user-friendly and a great introduction to the program. These have predetermined paths, so all you need to do is populate your information. The only thing is that if you do have brand guidelines to adhere to, one of the challenges can be maintaining your brand with these. For example, this presentation we're looking at now is created in external design software and imported into Prezi. Unlike PowerPoint, you can't create actual mathematical graphs in Prezi. They'll need to be imported from PowerPoint or a PDF. You do, however, have access to numerous diagrams like these ones here, and they allow you to customize information. You can also use clip art style illustration and symbols and icons from their library and you can insert as many of these as you wish. One thing just to keep in mind is that the style is predetermined by the template chosen, meaning that you have limited choice when it comes to colour, font and style. One of the other great features of Prezi is that it allows you to insert video, whether it be movies or animations. We found this little video to spice things up for you. So these can be fantastic if you want to include training videos or footage of events, for example, into your presentations. Another great feature of Prezi is its collaboration tool, which means that up to 10 people can work on your presentation at the same time. Each person needs their own Prezi account, but being a cloud-based software, it can be accessed anywhere in real time, which is great if you're working with a team interstate or overseas, as everyone has direct access, and that's access that you can control. Obviously, you could even work with Red Robin in this way. We could structure the template and layout for you, and you can add your content or update wherever necessary. While Prezi is a cloud-based software, there is a desktop version too, which is really handy so you don't have to worry about Wi-Fi connections dropping out and so on. Now moving on, let's just consider looking at Prezi in a more familiar PowerPoint format. One of the limitations of Prezi is the fact that you can't collate and print handout notes like PowerPoint. You can only print out PDF slides. This is an example of a traditional well-designed PowerPoint slide. The content can be quite overwhelming. As a printed handout, this is fine, but as a digital presentation, the content can be difficult to read or decipher. If we are to assume that this was imported directly from PowerPoint, what we can now do with Prezi is take the audience on a journey by feeding each piece of information independently and in as much detail as you want. From a creator's perspective, this is great because you don't have to create five different slides or stages. It's just one piece of artwork. 
One of the disadvantages of Prezi is that the editability of content can be limited and there's a less than desirable choice of fonts. And even these don't include your basic Arial and Helvetica. This one here is the most corporate on offer. Here is another typical type-heavy PowerPoint slide. This one, though, isn't particularly engaging and it's certainly not very visual. There's not much of interest on the page and again, it's okay for a take-home printout, but that's about it. So here, we wanted to demonstrate the power of visuals and how Prezi breaks down the information to tell a story. For example, in the first point, here are some stats regarding the importance of engagement. But this now demonstrates how the message can be interpreted into a series of digestible infographics, made the more interesting by the transition which gives the impression of an animation. Going back to point two, hopefully we can prove this one. Here you can see we've added some colour and illustration to make the statement a little bit more visually impactful. Going on to point three, which focuses on a comparison fact related to attention span. Apparently, we now have an attention span of eight seconds compared to our friendly goldfish who's outdoing us at nine. The clock here to demonstrate the seconds ticking was actually created in Flash and imported into Prezi. So if it takes eight seconds to grab your attention and 20 minutes to hold it, that's a wrap. If you still have any questions about Prezi or you'd like to have a chat with someone at Red Robin about your next presentation, please do get in touch. We'd love to hear from you.